today we're on uh, the set of the new Alien film. Actually, that's a lie. We're at Bramble Thai Farm um, growing mushrooms. Woo! That is beautiful. It's like a coral reef. Yellow mushroom coral reef. I started as an apple grower 20 years ago and started playing around with growing a few mushrooms. And then in 2006, I think we grew our first small commercial batch of oyster on a mixture of dried grass that we collected out of the orchard in the summer and some prunings. What do you grow the mushrooms on? When you look at the natural cycle of how our trees recycled within woodlands is you got trees that are broken down by king oyster, by grey oyster, by yellow oyster, by all of the, the mushrooms that we're eating. It's my job and responsibility to popularise the use of these mushrooms yep. through the uh, creative cooking. Challenge accepted. It's an incredibly uh, unique mushroom with all kinds of like radical medicinal properties. People claiming that it reduces cancer and all kinds of like miraculous results from eating and consuming lion's mane mushrooms. The shiitake, once you get it to colonize the substrate properly, the ripening process is very long. How long is that, like a month? No, the shiitake takes 16 weeks Oh, until wow. you can induce the fruiting. But it is like meat, isn't it, yeah. shiitake? It's yeah. like... The... It grows quicker than meat. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's a perfect organism to grow in the UK. You know, if you think about the resources and what we do or don't have, mushrooms are amazing. The opportunities for it are fairly endless. Japanese shimeji. It's small... stalk, small cup. It's very closely related to oyster. Mm. The flavour is a little bit the same, but it has the the body of mm. of king. Mm. Oyster will also grow on coffee grounds and paper and actually, like, like we when we, when we did our first commercial batch, we used grass cuttings. Right. But it's, it's happy on, on many things. Oh, what do I do with that? <laughs> How do hold I it. hold it? And then you just. Uh, right, 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 like this. Could I have a knife? Thank you. So, like that. Yeah. So, these uh, huge rows of stumps uh, was once apple orchards. Um, but the apples expired as, as they do after like a decade. Um, so instead they've used the land to grow blackberries, so adapting, and then they've cut the tops of the trees and then that's been um, minced and then that like uh, shredded wood is then the food for the mushrooms. So just an incredible um, example of regenerative agriculture. This is the, uh, I guess, the waste product from growing the mushrooms that, as you can see, this huge, endless um, pear orchard, the actual uh, mycelium mushroom substrate is here composting and growing the pears. Would you describe the farm as regenerative? Yeah, the waste from the mushrooms goes into the spreader and the spreader we empty under the trees and then we work that back into the soil. When we first cultivated the soil to go and plant trees, it was a soil that was very bleak, without a lot of organic matter. And we've now gone through the first cycle of we plant trees, and then they have a lifespan of between 10 and 15 years, and those trees have now come out. And we're now cultivating the soil again to plant more trees. Mm. And there's just so much more organic matter in the soil that it just becomes much easier to work. So, yeah, regenerative is, is one of the things that's part mm. of organic farming. <laughs>